Hi everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Uh, this is what we're looking at this time. This is the Cranborn Poacher. It's from uh, Badger Brewery, Badger Beers. Um, you probably know them for things like the, the, the Thirsty Ferret or Bamford Fly or the Golden Champion, etc. Really good brewer, really good brewer. I've just realised I've come dressed as the label. Didn't mean to do that. And I have accidentally seen a word on the label which got me really excited about this beer. Um, it's a strong English ale. Comes in at 5.7%. It's called a Ruby Ale. Let's crack it open. Let's get in a glass, shall we? Let's get those flavours. Ooh, not that. Ooh, that's fruity. It says fruity on the front and it's as soon as I cracked that open I could smell fruit. Oops, Daisy. Might not get an extra little bit in there. So that has poured, oh, I was coming through this um it's chestnut colour, it's like a traditional old um, bitter beer colour. Clear, little chestnut colour, good two finger, just off white head, nice and foamy. That might stay around to last the distance, but I, even from this distance, I'm getting a good fruity aroma from this. Let's get nostrils in it, so let's see what we've got. It's fruity. I'm just getting plum. Yeah, it's just a plummy beer on the aroma. Let's taste it, shall we? Cheers, everybody. Look at my hair. Call me with scruffy hair. Oh, nice. No mistake of the fact that's got plums in it. It's a very plummy flavour. And now, the word I saw on the back, which got me excited, it's really nice. It's licorice. It's got a lovely licorice note at the back end it's quite nice it's one of these beers you get in it's, it's coming over in waves so it's in your mouth you get a, a sweetness building up there from the malt from the plums probably and then you get that nice dark fruit plummy flavour doesn't last long because that's then washed over with the licorice and it is a lovely strong licorice, licorice taste now where I'm from just down the road from Pontefract we invented licorice well we did really but Pontefract cakes obviously famous and we got a number of uh, well we, we had a number of a lot of um, factories in the air that, that, that used to make licorice products. Still a couple left today. So I like, I like the flavour. It's not everybody's taste. Um, I've actually got a stick of brewer's licorice that I uh, need to put into some homebrew sometime as well. To turn one of my home brews, so I'm probably going to do an imperial stout. Uh, it's probably going to be kind of a whiskey, bourbon, imperial stout, and I'm going to brew it with the licorice stick in there as well, just to get a nice licorice flavour out of that. Because to me, it's, it is a nice flavour, works well in darker beers like this.
that is a nice beer. Um, oh, I left some in there, didn't I? That's good. Always a bit of a bonus when you left a bit of beer left, bit little bit left a bit of beer in the bottle. So, um, yeah, on the nose, purely um, plum. Surprised you pick up that licorice on the nose. Um, Flavour-wise, sweet, plummy, and then that licorice coming over. It's quite short in licorice flavour. It's it's there one minute and then it's gone, so it doesn't tang around at all. Um, it's nice. You get the, you do get those that mild sweetness coming through. It's not too sweet. So that will be partly coming from the malts, which I'm not really tasting much of the malts apart from that little bit of sweetness, and obviously from the uh, plums. That fruit licorice combo working very well, and a very very gentle bitterness at the back end, very gentle. I like that enough to score that. For me, the flavours could have been a little bit more, a little bit more in your face, a little bit more punchy. But it's a good beer. I'm going to score that. And I bet it's wonderful on Cass. Yeah, it's on Cass. Well done. Because it's great. Um, I forgot where I bought this from. I think this one came from Morrison's. And I wouldn't have paid more than one. I can't remember. £1.30, £1.40. I am guessing. I, I didn't pay a lot for it. Didn't pay too much for it at all. So well worth looking out for your local supermarket. Um, score wise for me. 7.5 out of 10. Whatever you're drinking tonight, enjoy it. Until next review. Cheers, everybody.